If you like to watch movies often, you are bound to start noticing scenes that eventually become cliché. There is a romantic kiss in the rain, the hero walking away from an explosion, the tied-down damsel in distress, the genius who knows everything. And who could forget that medicine cabinet moment in horror films? Open up the door and there's a 99% chance a face lurks in the reflection when you close it. Even though these visuals may be cliché, many viewers tolerate them because they're familiar and they give us a sense of comfort and predictability. But how about cliché images in business content? Are they comforting or confusing? In one neuroscience experiment, I asked B2B buyers to read an ebook at their own pace. The purpose of the study was to research the impact of image choice on buyer attention, cognitive workload, fatigue, and motivation to act on the content they read. The ebook was created originally by a client in the telecom industry, and it contained 20 pages, and seven of those pages included stock photography. Group one viewed the original ebook. Group two viewed the same text as group one, but without the pictures. And group three read the same text as groups one and two, but the initial stock photos were replaced by more effective images. But what is an effective image? In this case, I considered an effective image one that is functional, meaning it is rooted in reality. It has layers of depth, meaning it is teaching the viewer something. It provokes an emotion and it is concrete and specific. For example, the original ebook included an image intended to visualize hardship. The initial picture simply showed a person staring at her computer. This was a silent scream of hardship. So we replaced it with a concrete and specific image of a giant metal bird tied down by ropes. The results showed that while people spent a similar amount of time on the images in both groups one and three, the groups that had seen the pictures, buyers in group three spent significantly more time on the text. The images acted almost like an indication to keep reading, a primer. This is an important finding because in an ebook, it's likely that you are inviting buyers to make decisions based on the depth included in the text, not just in the pictures. So if you're not including a predictable image, what do you use instead? Consider replacing the cliche with a functional, explanatory image. Here's what I mean. The text on this page described the importance of the Internet of Things, or IoT. The image that Group 1 saw showed two online gamers in jubilant victory, which visualized only one small point from the text. The image used for Group 3 included a chart that visualized the definition of IoT. The image was functional and instructional. It taught the viewer about the concepts described in the text. In these heat maps, which are created from the eye tracking signal, the fiery hues of red and orange indicate the areas that receive the most visual attention. You can tell how buyers spent more time on the image, but also gave more comprehensive attention to the text. This comprehensive attention did not come at a large cognitive cost. When we superimpose on the same picture, the EEG signal, the brain waves associated with cognitive workload, notice how the workload is heavier in the stock photo condition. This is indicated by the more intense orange spots. In the condition with a functional image, the cognitive workload is much lighter because the picture explains the text better. But what happens if you cannot associate your content with a functional image so easily? In this case, create a visual metaphor. Remember the predictable stock photo that was replaced by the metal bird? He's massive and majestic, symbolizing just as a damsel in distress, someone being restrained. It has remnants of a classic movie scene, but at the same time, it is less predictable, even jarring in a business context. In this page, the client considered the third paragraph to be the most important. You can see how buyer's focus is more intense on this third paragraph when it's paired with a less predictable picture. So another practical and unexpected guideline emerges. Use a less predictable image not to get attention to the visual, but to get more attention to the text that is meaningful to you and your audience.